I'm the director at Sandy Pines Wildlife Centre. Uh, we've been in operation for oh, about 25 years now. I started uh, helping out many, many years ago with just a few raccoons. And then people started coming to me with squirrels and all kinds of things. And even domestic geese. They've all got a story. They've all been abandoned somewhere. Anyway, uh, about five years ago, um, we had a couple of people come to visit us and they donated us this brand new hospital. So, um, we've, we've been in this hospital now for five years and it's uh, really given us uh, a lot more scope. Uh, the, it's nicer for the animals too and the birds because they each have their own uh, area and uh, it's much less stressful for them. Uh, as you can see by our stand here, uh, we take in all animals and all birds. We operate between Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa and uh, we're very busy. In a year we probably have about, well we're going to be 5,000 this year, we're up to nearly 4,000 already and it was 4,000 last year. Uh, and all wildlife are wild, they stay wild. Most of the geese and ducks that are here stay here now. Sometimes if I get a new duck or a new goose in and I think somebody can give it a better home than I can here, then uh, uh, they would adopt, they could be adopted, but most often the answer is they stay. Yes, we will take any wildlife. Uh, we'll take everything from a sparrow to an eagle and a mouse to a moose. In January this year we had a fire uh, in the barn and we lost our barn and the barn was used not only for my domestic farm animals, I had a couple of rescue horses and donkeys, uh, but it was also used as an overflow in the winter. One year I had 30 swans in there so the barn became a swannery. So we decided that when we rebuilt we would build an aquatic centre as well as a barn. Unfortunately, due to an accident, uh, our contractor is not able to complete the building. So we have the shell, we have the barn and the shell of the aquatic centre, but we now are looking for a contractor to complete the inside of the barn. We have fundraisers going on throughout the year. Um, if you look at our website, you can see all the fundraisers that are going on. We get no donations from the government whatsoever. Uh, it's all the money is raised that goes to the animals that stays here in Napanee um, and uh, it's all private donations that keep us going. So um, donations are always welcome. There's several things you can do online. There is a donation button on our website that you can donate online if you want to or you're very welcome to come here. Um, just be aware that we do not show the wild animals to anybody. Um, it's very stressful for them to, to be seen by us. We, when we rescue an animal, we think we're doing a wonderful thing, and we are, but we forget that we are the predators. So even though we're doing a great thing, saving that animal's life, we are what they fear most of all. So we try and stay away from them, handle them as little as possible, and do not expose them to public viewing.